Hey y'all, I'm Xtina and welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we're going thrifting and this is going to be a Degrassi based trip so I'm so freaking excited. I don't know why but I just discovered that they have Degrassi The Next Generation on Tubi and I've been binge watching it for the past like three days. I'm already on season three, episode 54. So yeah, I'm so inspired by all of their freaking outfits. It's so Y2K obviously, cause it was filmed in the early 2000s. I'm loving everything that they have going on, especially Ellie, Paige, and Manny. When Manny glows up, yeah. Yeah, I've been taking notes on the outfits that I'm super inspired by, so hopefully you could thrift some of those pieces today. I'm gonna put on the screen some of the inspo. Y'all, y'all, literally, I'm just getting such deja vu watching this show again. This used to be my favorite freaking show when it had the whole series on YouTube. Do y'all remember that? Like that YouTube playlist that had all the episodes? It's missing so much now. That's actually how I discovered that it was on Tubi. I'm like, how can I watch Degrassi? And I'm like, you can watch it for free on Tubi. If you don't know, now you know. For the OOTD, I have this Stranger Things graphic tee. I've actually never watched this show. I'm sorry if I'm a poser, <laughs> but I just thought this was really cute. I love how bright this little graphic is. It just says upside down and it says Stranger Things on the sleeve. I'm just wearing these blue jeans. They're just regular blue jeans, probably from Fashion Nova. Yeah, they are from Fashion Nova. And yeah, they just look like that my arm warmers and then i have these cuffs these are also available on my depop black guest boots and they're so freaking cute so this is the ootd and also if you don't know i have a depop called the brunch doll where i sell a bunch of early 2000s y2k pieces so if you like anything in this video go ahead and check it out over there while what we're looking for is going to be the grassy base i'm always looking for anything y2k anything super cute anything that's just like my vibe right now hopefully by the pictures on the screen you can already tell what we're looking for for the most part so let's go ahead and get started Home sweet home, as always, we're gonna check for the colors that's on sale and grab a cart. I thought this fluffy top was super cute, but it did turn out to be Shein, so we had to put that back. And then I quickly got distracted by the hats. I love looking at the accessories, but I rarely find anything. And of course, this time I found nothing, but this brown one was kinda cute though. Immediately, this one reminded me of Paige. Paige was all about the faux fur jackets and I know she would so rock this. This slip dress was also super adorable. When I saw this plaid, I was immediately reminded of Ellie, so of course I had to put this in my cart. This was so freaking cute. Then I came across these boho fairy grunge pieces. I was loving the tie-dye on this first one. And the second one was definitely giving me Emma. I still can't believe I found these Royal Bones dual tone pants. These are so Ellie and amazing. I thought this would be super cute for a page moment, but then I realized it was Shein, so immediate put back. Another quick look at the OOTD. This was such a great trip. My cart was super full. Both of these dresses reminded me of Ellie, but I only got one, so guess which one I got in the comments. We finally made it to the tracksuits. I was hoping to find a Manny inspired piece, but zip. This boho fairy grunge dress was actually amazing. Tell me this top doesn't remind you of seeing your Manny, because definitely. But y'all, quick update. The AC in the store is not working, so it's actually so freaking hot right now. I'm actually sweating. I'm actually sweating. It's worth it for the grassy though. No, but seriously, it was super freaking hot and they didn't fix it for like two hours and I was dying. Definitely a Paige moment. Paige was such a baby tea type of girl. This is such a tacky Y2K type of top, but you guys, Jenna literally wore a purple chain top that looked so similar. Ellie. Emma. Holly J. This tracksuit jacket was definitely giving Manny or early Holly J slash Anya since they basically wore the same things. I just love the striped top. It kind of reminds me of Chucky. This vintage pattern was super pretty, but it was giving fall. 
but of course I could not pass up on this top like are you freaking kidding me look at it I thought this basket was super cute for like a picnic or something it was so adorable immediately I fell in love with this jacket it was so freaking amazing but it had so many stains this colorway and cutout super adorable you guys i found it i found it the freaking manny sweater i found the manny sweater and i so regret not picking it up it was because i already have a bunch of green striped sweaters on my shop so i feel like i didn't need another one but that one was different you know like i kind of needed it this was the cutest stuffy here I came across a whole bunch of Hot Topic skirts and of course they reminded me of Ellie. The length and the patterns were just perfect. We love an olive green mini skirt, of course. And then we have more Hot Topic. We finally made it to one of my favorite sections, the kids section. I was hoping to find another Manny piece. First look at the mini skirts, this Hello Kitty band on this skirt was super freaking adorable. This brown crochet top was definitely giving Emma or Paige. Add to the cart, onto the jackets, and you guys, we found it. We found it. The ultimate manly piece, of course, a juicy track jacket. We took a quick look at the shoe section. Of course, I went immediately to the boots. I am not myself if I'm not looking at some boots, okay? They had some super cute ones, a bunch of faux fur winter boots, and I'm never opposed to that. Then of course I had to make my way to the book section before they closed and I found this book. And are we really book shopping if we don't run across Fifty Shades of Grey? My cart was literally overflowing so it was time to sort it out. Time for the rejects of the day. I didn't need another olive skirt, I already had a lot in my shop, this skirt was way too small, I kind of wish I got this baby doll dress but I didn't, I was still debating on these shorts that's why you see me contemplating them for a while but I ended up leaving them behind, they were kind of cute though. This top too tacky Y2K even for me, this top I have no explanation, let's just move on, I have a lot of black baby doll dresses in my shop so I felt like I didn't need another one. And I didn't really need this slip either. This print was really giving fall and it's summer, spring. This was giving boho Emma. I don't know why I didn't get that. I didn't really love this skirt, and this vest was not needed as well. I also left behind this fuzzy cardigan because it was way too small. And it was finally time to check out but I did end up leaving behind this tank top because it had some damages and this sweater as well. So sad. But with our shopping complete, let's move on to the haul. Hey y'all, it's time for the haul. I'm so excited to get into these pieces. You guys, I started this video on season three and I'm already on season eight and it's only been like a couple of days. I literally cannot stop watching it. I love it so freaking much. <laughs> and at this rate, there's only like 14 seasons. So I should be done by like next week. And then what am I supposed to do in my life? I don't know, but yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited to show you guys the pieces that I ended up picking up and I also have a Depop at the Grunge Doll so if you like anything in this video make sure to check it out down below. Let's go ahead and get started. So for the first piece we have this little tank top. It's like an abstract little boho fairy tank top. This definitely reminds me of Emma. I can totally see her wearing something like this. I feel like boho fairy grunge really fits Emma's vibe. If she had an aesthetic that would be her aesthetic, Y2K Boho Fairy Grunge. We have this grunge top. It just has a peace sign right there. And then it also has a peace sign in the back. And it just looks like this. This reminds me of Ellie or Ashley, but mainly Ellie. When it came to like this aesthetic, I was mainly inspired by Ellie instead of Ashley. I feel like her fashion stood out more. Ashley was just... Ashley was all right, but Ellie was pulling some looks, okay? We have another Ellie item with these Royal Bones red and black pants. I love how it has dual tone legs. They're so freaking adorable, and especially in the earlier seasons, I can definitely see her wearing this. These are so 
freaking cute we have this adorable heart jacket it's super freaking cute it's kind of like a pajama like material and yeah super freaking adorable another y2k fairy grunge piece is just this green and brown zebra print top it just looks like that and it's so freaking adorable i'm just loving green and brown together so freaking cute such a good colorway such a good underrated colorway before i say who this dress reminds me of let me know who this dress reminds you of from the grassy who do you think will wear this dress all right i'm gonna give you a second it's a halter neck blue dress yeah yeah okay so this dress totally reminds me of emma i can so envision her in this color this would look so good on her and it just seems like her vibe it's so adorable and it just gave me emma another boho fairy grunge piece i just love this print and the sleeves are super unique like the lace on the sleeves and yeah this was super adorable i had to pick this up what do we have here what do we have here of course we have a juicy jacket and you already know you already know who this is representing okay manny of course i loved the seasons where manny was on her super y2k um i don't want to say y2k bimbo because they were in high school but um on super y2k vibes you know but yeah i loved when she was wearing tracksuits like every freaking day to school i just loved her earlier fashion you know after the dong episode after she transformed compared to like i think her senior year in high school her style was kind of like eh like i really didn't like those black booties she was wearing to school like they just gave me like abuela like they were giving grandma but okay but yeah this one totally fits her vibe of course i know she loved a juicy tracksuit back in the day this plaid pattern reminded me of ellie i don't know if i could see her wearing this piece exactly but just the plaid tartan itself did remind me of her who 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 do you think okay three two one Paige. this one reminds me of Paige so freaking much like i loved Paige early y2k style i just freaking love it in the beginning like i said later on as the seasons progress it was kind of meh but high school page high school page outfits hit every single time i got this super adorable baby doll dress i literally could not resist i had to get this this funky pattern was just everything look at this pattern look at this pattern do you see it like it's so good another ellie inspired piece this blue and black knit sweater i can totally see her wearing this with like black leggings or jeans this is so high school ellie and we love another emma boho fairy grunge piece this little green sort of cardigan i could definitely see beginner emma in this little cardigan like super freaking super freaking cute like are you kidding are you kidding even with this shirt this is kind of cute <laughs> but yeah it's just so freaking adorable and like it's just so good okay so yeah i could definitely see emma in this cardigan and we love that for her also let me know if you agree with me or if you don't agree with me on like who these pieces are inspired by i would love to know who you think like they would fit better or if i was just off this is just my opinion on like what they would wear and i think they're pretty accurate but if they're not let me know Paige, yeah yeah Paige. no Paige or emma Paige or emma one of them <laughs> But I just love the sweater so freaking much. I love the stripes and it has freaking elbow pads. It has elbow pads. Like I rarely see tops with elbow pads. So that's so cute to me. Another Ellie or Ashley item. It has a cross on the freaking back we love. I'm sorry, but I really cannot recall most of Ashley's outfits. I feel like they were just like black. Like they weren't really notable when Ellie was pulling looks. But yeah, I think this gives Ellie, this is kind of like a baby doll dress, oversized jacket. I mean, depends on what you do with it. This gorgeous purple velvet top. I don't know who this is giving, but I just had to pick this up. It's so freaking pretty. Like, are you kidding me? Me leaving this behind? Does that even sound right to you? That don't sound right to me. Like, come on. But yeah, this is by Guess. I love Guess. Y2K Guess hits every single time. 
and yeah it's bell sleeve like come on like do i need to say more i don't you guys this jacket is so freaking adorable it just looks like this and I feel like it's so giving Paige. Paige was killing with the coats. I loved high school Paige. But yeah, I could totally see her in this little vest. Super freaking cute. It looks like this up close and it has like sequins. And this is so soft. I hope it's not rabbit. I hope it's not. It's not. It's not. Okay, good. But it is super soft. And yeah, these true religion shorts. I just had to pick these up. They'll be super cute for the summer or the fall. And yeah, these are a size 26. So yeah, no try on. But they're super freaking adorable. Like literally micro, micro, micro booty shorts. Another Ellie. We have this South Pole. Little graphic baby doll dress. Oversized shirt. Whatever you want to call it. That's what we have. And it just has zebra print. Yeah, you can see that. Mesh fabric this velvet floral graphic short sleeves and it just looks like that correct me if i'm wrong but i feel like this is something ashley would wear more than ellie but it's just like this cardigan it has a velvet color i love this rhinestone embellishment that it has here and it has a slit right there obviously since it's a cardigan so it just cinches right here and it just looks so good on i could definitely see goth ashley wearing this you know when she was going through her face who do you think who do you think this one should be a no-brainer who do you think page of course we have this y2k bell sleeve top and it's literally so freaking good. When I saw the cutout, do you see? Yeah, there you go. It has cutouts right here and it just looks so good with the bell sleeve. And then we have this adorable black and pink plaid miniskirt. Look at the tag. Look at the tag is by Toy Box. Another Ellie with this bell. I was definitely looking for grommet belts because she was queen at layering belts. She had like stacked grommet belts in one photo. So I was definitely looking for grommet belts. And this one definitely fits the vibe. I got these gorgeous boots. I got these for myself because they're so freaking cute. They're so freaking cute. I got another pair that I was so sad when it didn't fit me. So when I saw these boots, I had to pick them up. But yeah, they're just black and they have this fur right here. And they have little pom-poms and they're just so good. But these next ones, you guys. You guys, there's no way you're seeing these boots right now. Hello, look at these boots. Are you looking? They're so freaking cute. They're by Report, so definitely freaking Y2K. And they just look so freaking good. But I think these are like a seven. They're like a seven or something. But yeah, like I said, most of these pieces will be on my Depop. So if you like these boots, make sure you check it out down below. But yeah, super freaking cute. For our one miscellaneous item, we have this book. It's Shadowland by Allison Noel. If you watched my thrifted book collection, I have another one of the books in the Immortal series. This is from the Immortal series. I don't know which one it is because there's no number on the side. Another thing that I despise about some series when they don't put the numbers on the side, which most of them don't. That's why I like Harry Potter because they have year one, year two, year three, whatever. And I just have to Google and see which book this is in the series but yeah i'm so excited to read this the immortals is such a good series i read it a long time ago and i'm excited to jump back in that was everything that i picked up for this haul let me know what your favorite piece was let me know who you think i was spot on with you know with the fits and where i went wrong she would never wear that what let me know but <laughs> but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm loving this freaking series and i do want to make more the grassy inspired videos there might be one coming up pretty pretty soon but yeah if you like my makeup this is mainly a line crime i'm wearing cindy and bleached with bitter cherry gloss thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye